because we're dealing with a lot of snow. But let's go up to the Midwest and see how things are looking up in Maple Grove, Minnesota. And that is where we find Mike Seidel all bundled up dealing with the elements out there. How's it going, Mike? Hey, Jennifer. Well, you know, as I said earlier, I'd much rather be here than having to dodge uh, the risk of twisters in the Deep South. You know, people may complain about snow, but the uh, danger factor is a lot, lot less than what we're dealing with in the Deep South right now. With that said, a lot of folks coming home from work a little bit early. In fact, we saw a lot of people earlier that told us they left work after lunchtime because it really started dumping pretty hard for about an hour and a half or so. And then it kind of backed off. We're getting waves of snow through the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. 28 right now with a wind gust last check at the airport at almost 30 miles an hour brings the wind chill down to 14. We're expecting five to eight more inches here in Minneapolis St. Paul tonight and tomorrow up in Duluth eight to 14 more inches and they're getting wind gusts to nearly 50 miles an hour. Let's go to Sky Tracker the wide shot first as the storm heads off to our south. It is bringing a bit of a dry tongue up towards the southeastern part of the state right now. It's staying out of Minneapolis which will keep the snowfall totals higher. But Rochester and the southeast corner, you've seen the snow lighten up quite a bit. As far as uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul, you get a sense as we go in closer how the waves of snow are moving from the southwest to the northeast, kind of rotating around our surface low. We're on the northwest side or the colder side. And that's why temperatures have fallen from 33 earlier today when the snow started back to 28 degrees. Now into Des Moines, Iowa. The western half of Iowa is a real mess. There's a blizzard warning west of Des Moines. Basically, if you live or if you're thinking about traveling anywhere west of I-35 in Des Moines, probably think about it twice. In fact, I-29 is shut down. I-80 is shut down from west of Des Moines to uh, the Nebraska state line. They're getting gusts right now to 37 miles an hour, and winds tonight in Des Moines may gust up over 40 miles an hour. You're not going to see a whole lot more snow, but it doesn't matter. There's snow on the ground, and the snow blowing around lowers the visibility. Let me show you what I mean. Out in Omaha, now this is an extreme uh, eastern parts of Nebraska. A blizzard warning continues until 6, and then after that, it'll be snow and blowing snow much like in Des Moines and maybe another inch or two of snow. I-80 has been closed most of today from just west of Omaha out into the uh, central part of the state, uh, at least a 100 mile stretch there because of the blizzard conditions and the whiteouts. You can get a, idea, a real idea of just how poor the travel is. All right, Mike, it definitely does look pretty rough out there. 